So please give a warm round of applause for Ignited Flame. by these uh, circumstances and um, many people more than others, such as children. And often children and families uh, tend to stress parents out because, you know, they whine, they cry about the heat, and that just, and it's just, it's, it's stress inducing for many people. And um, with our targeted stakeholder being uh, families with children, you can imagine um, how much of a stressor, the presence of a Class A fire would be. Uh, therefore, as a team, we created a product that would aid in such a bleak circumstances. Who is our stakeholder? So, like we were saying earlier, children with families have to deal with this issue a lot. So, our product is for children with families, and our product is also designed to be used by the children and the adults, so everyone in the household can use it. So, something about us is that, look at that image right there. We got our inspiration from the movie Big Hero 6, specifically the Kempers that one of the main characters use. Basically, it has a periodic table, you press the buttons on it, and it puts out this little ball that can, you know, basically do what you want. Create chemicals and foam up and stuff like that. We got our idea from that, basically. So these are the current existing solutions, which is obviously the standard fire extinguisher baking soda, which helps reduce the chemical reaction uh, in fire, and water, but water doesn't really work well with oil-based fires, um, and foam, which is uh, also used in the standard fire extinguisher, as well as dry chemical powder, which is basically the same thing as, well, it does, a big, it, it does the same thing as baking soda. Um, how our solution differs? Uh, for one, our solution is throwable. And it's mainly for apartment slash house unit fires, which are class A fires. And it's easy for kids to use. Like I said, it's a ball. And, you know, um, it would be easier for kids to use. So, uh, statistics and problem. Based on research by the nationwide children's hospital, children playing with fire set more than about 20,000 fires every year. That's an average of almost 400 fires each week, and fires started by children playing cause an average of 150 deaths and nearly 1,000 um, injuries every year. Obviously, it's a huge problem, and our product is cool, but, you know, a stop to that. Our solution, slash problem. Yeah. Our solution is the EX ball. It is a ball-shaped fire extinguisher. You just throw it, and it, you know, it releases this... Um, dry chemical, specifically when it reaches contact with extreme heat. So say if you were a child and you have the ball, you couldn't just throw it and it breaks, it would need to come into contact with extreme heat. Um, also, it will be labeled and there will be instructions for the parents to you know, teach kids about fire and you know, safety and all that. Unique value proposition. Our product will quickly um, take care of fires, even when the uh, adult is not present, so by buying this product, our stakeholders know that they are safe in their house. And then this is our customer relationship, so for advertising, we would first um, make advertisements on websites, mainly websites that like adults use or websites where you can 
you would be shopping for things like stuff like Amazon. For the second one, we are making a social media page so we, people can um, view our profile and like know more about us. And for the third one, um, it is word of mouth, so when people hear about our products, we're hoping that they will like spread the word so that the more people that buy our product, the more like it'll have a better reputation. Um, this is a revenue, revenue stream slide, basically just how we plan on making money. And the way we plan on doing this is by selling the product online, in person sales, and through advertisements, which basically just means we will advertise to the public. What we plan to accomplish by selling the product is providing families with young children a solution to putting out housewives. Thank you for your time. Do you have a prototype of your ball? I would like to see how it looks like. Um, we don't because the materials we needed for it, we just couldn't get. Uh, we did try to make something, but it was only like about three cups and some tape and string, so we weren't able to fully replicate um, our uh, vision. All right, good job. I'd like to see the next steps to your project next school year. Thank you. Um, one thing I'd like to, to kind of tell you guys is when you meet somebody, you got to give a good handshake and you got to give good eye contact. And across the board, no eye contact, and everybody kind of did one of these little pinch your handshake. When you give a handshake, keep eye contact, extend your arm straight out, and keep going until this part of your hand hits the other person's part, and then go ahead and give a good shake. Okay. Two pumps, one, two, and you're good. Okay. Other than that, um, I really like the graphics you guys did, and I'd really like to see a prototype, and maybe uh, a little more on the science of how it would actually work. Uh, I think you have a good concept. Uh, I think now it's time to, to kind of let people know a little bit more about how it would actually work, the science behind it and the execution. So uh, have you guys looked into that? We're still doing uh, research on that. Okay. Well, I really liked your graphics and your presentation. Uh, good job in your presentation. Um, just a little thing, eye contact, uh, just echoing what the other judges said, is uh, try not to read off the presentation. I know you caught yourself sometimes, you're like, oh, I can kind of turn and look and then you kind of caught yourself. But remember, we, we want to talk to you, we want to interact with you. Um, um, so I would love to see a prototype as well. Um, this is a great idea. Um, I, you know, I've, I've watched you kind of think through this process in the classroom. And this could save a lot of lives, and I, I love where you're going with this. So if we could somehow create a prototype or a simulation of what it would do, I'd love to see that, and uh, I'm looking forward to seeing the next steps. Good job. Yeah, good job, you guys. Um, I agree with the panel. Um, I had you guys in first runs, so I actually want to tell you that from the first run I met you guys to today, great job on that okay I know you guys were nervous when you met me the first time so um, just being able to hear you describe things a little bit better and to actually um, hone in on what you're actually doing is really great to see um, again the prototype and if you didn't have something that actually you know through when you could do that kind of thing but even just having a size for us to see what that looks like especially since you're bringing up children can use it children can grab it you know, easy access and throw it when parents aren't around, having that ability to see it. Um, and again, working on your pricing and stuff like that to figure out where you're at with the revenue. Um, you had two slides of revenue that kind of repeated each other. So just differentiating on that also. Um, and then some of your slides were kind of wordy. And so Having to read that and listen to you guys was kind of difficult. So maybe doing more bullets or making it so that um, you're, again, not reading off of that, but having a little bit more information. But thank you guys so much. I appreciate it. Is that a plan? Thank you guys.